repeated measures design uses the same subjects with every branch of research, including the control. For instance, repeated measurements are collected in a longitudinal study in which change over time is assessed. Other studies compare the same measure under two or more different conditions. For instance, to test the effects of caffeine on cognitive function, a subject's math ability might be tested once after they consume caffeine and another time when they consume a placebo. Crossover studies A popular repeated measures design is the crossover study. A crossover study is a longitudinal study in which subjects receive a sequence of different treatments. While crossover studies can be observational studies, many important crossover studies are controlled experiments. Crossover designs are common for experiments in many scientific disciplines, for example psychology, education, pharmaceutical science and healthcare, especially medicine. Randomized, controlled, crossover experiments are especially important in healthcare. In a randomized clinical trial, the subjects are randomly assigned treatments. When such a trial is a repeated measures design, the subjects are randomly assigned to a sequence of treatments. A crossover clinical trial is a repeated measures design in which each patient is randomly assigned to a sequence of treatments, including at least two treatments, thus each patient crosses over from one treatment to another. Nearly all crossover designs have balance, which means that all subjects should receive the same number of treatments and that all subjects participate for the same number of periods. In most crossover trials, each subject receives all treatments. However, many repeated measures designs are not crossovers, the longitudinal study of the sequential effects of repeated treatments need not use any crossover, for example. Uses of a repeated measures design, limited number of subjects a euro the repeated measure design reduces the variance of estimates of treatment effects, allowing statistical inference to be made with fewer subjects. Efficiency Euro repeated measure designs allow many experiments to be completed more quickly, as fewer groups need to be trained to complete an entire experiment. For example, experiments in which each condition takes only a few minutes, whereas the training to complete the tasks take as much, if not more time. Longitudinal analyzers Euro repeated measure designs allow researchers to monitor how participants change over time, both long and short term situations. Order effects. Order effects may occur when a participant in an experiment is able to perform a task and then perform it again. Examples of order effects include performance improvement or decline in performance, which may be due to learning effects, boredom or fatigue. The impact of order effects may be smaller in long-term longitudinal studies or by counterbalancing using a crossover design. Counterbalancing. In this technique two groups each perform the same two tasks but in reverse order. With two branches, four groups are formed. Limitations, it may not be possible for each participant to be in all conditions of the experiment. Severely diseased subjects tend to drop out of longitudinal studies, potentially biasing the results. In these cases mixed effects models would be preferable as they can deal with missing values. Mean regression may affect conditions with significant repetitions. Maturation may affect studies that extend over time. Events outside the experiment may change the response between repetitions. Repeated measures ANOVA, repeated measures analysis of variance is a commonly used statistical approach to repeated measure designs. With such designs, the repeated measure factor is the within subjects factor, while the dependent quantitative variable on which each participant is measured is the dependent variable. Partitioning of error, one of the greatest advantages to a ANOVA, as is the case with repeated measures designs in general, is the ability to partition out variability due to individual differences. Consider the general structure of the F statistic, F equals MS treatment slash MS error equals DF error, in a between subjects design there is an element of variance due to individual difference that is combined with the treatment and error terms, STOTAL equals treatment plus error, DF total equals N1 intra repeated measures design it is possible to partition subject variability from the treatment and error terms. In such a case, variability can be broken down into between treatments variability and within treatments variability. 
the within treatments variability can be further partitioned into between subjects variability and error, S total equals treatment plus subjects plus error, DF total equals DF treatment plus F between subjects plus error equals plus plus minus, N1, in reference to the general structure of the F statistic, it is clear that by partitioning out the between subjects variability, the F value will increase because the sum of squares error term will be smaller resulting in a smaller MPS error. It is noteworthy that partitioning variability reduces degrees of freedom from the F test, therefore the between subjects variability must be significant enough to offset the loss in degrees of freedom. If between subjects variability is small this process may actually reduce the F value. Assumptions, as with all statistical analyses, specific assumptions should be met to justify the use of this test. Violations can moderately to severely affect results and often lead to an inflation of type 1 error. With the RANOVA, standard univariate and multivariate assumptions apply. The univariate assumptions are, normality a euro for each level of the within subjects factor, the dependent variable must have a normal distribution. Sphericity a euro different scores computed between two levels of a within subjects factor must have the same variance for the comparison of any two levels. Random as a euro cases should be derived from a random sample, and scores from different participants should be independent of each other. The RANOVA also requires that certain multivariate assumptions be met, because a multivariate test is conducted on different scores. These assumptions include, Multivariate normality a euro the different scores are multivariately normally distributed in the population. Random as a euro individual cases should be derived from a random sample, and the different scores for each participant are independent from those of another participant. F test, as with other analysis of variance tests, the RANOVA makes use of an F statistic to determine significance. Depending on the number of within subjects factors and assumption violations, it is necessary to select the most appropriate of three tests, standard univariate ANOVAF test a euro this test is commonly used given only two levels of the within subjects factor. This test is not recommended given more than two levels of the within subjects factor because the assumption of sphericity is commonly violated in such cases. Alternative univariate test a euro these tests account for violations to the assumption of sphericity, and can be used when the within subjects factor exceeds two levels. The F statistic is the same as in the standard univariate ANOVAF test, but is associated with a more accurate p-value. This correction is done by adjusting the degrees of freedom downward for determining the critical F value. Two corrections are commonly used a euro the greenhouse gazer correction and the Hunfeldt correction. The greenhouse gazer correction is more conservative, but addresses a common issue of increasing variability over time in a repeated measures design. The Hunfeldt correction is less conservative, but does not address issues of increasing variability. It has been suggested that lower Hunfeldt be used with smaller departures from sphericity while greenhouse gazer be used when the departures are large. Multivariate test a euro this test does not assume sphericity, but is also highly conservative. Effect size, one of the most commonly reported effect size statistics for RANOVA is partial eta squared. It is also common to use the multivariate I2 when the assumption of sphericity has been violated, and the multivariate test statistic is reported. A third effect size statistic that is reported is the generalized I2, which is comparable to IP2 in a one-way repeated measures ANOVA. It has been shown to be a better estimate of effect size with other within subjects tests. Cautions, our ANOVA is not always the best statistical analyses for repeated measure designs. The RANOVA is vulnerable to effects from missing values, imputation, unequivalent time points between subjects and violations of sphericity. These issues can result in sampling bias and inflated rates of type I error. In such cases it may be better to consider use of a linear mixed model. See also Notes References Design and Analysis of Experiments, Jones, Byron Kenwood, Michael G. Design and Analysis of Crossover Trials London, Chapman and Haller Vonish, Edward F. and Chinchilli, 
Vernon G. Linear and Nonlinear Models for the Analysis of Repeated Measurements. London, Chapman and Haller, Exploration of Longitudinal Data, Davidian, Marie. David M. Giltonen. Nonlinear Models for Repeated Measurement Data. Chapman and Hall CRC Monographs on Statistics and Applied Probability. ISBN A0412983419 R. Fitzmanuris, Garrett, Davidian, Marie, Verbeck, Jart and Molenbers, Jart, ed. Longitudinal Data Analysis. Boca Raton, Florida, Chapman and Hall CRC. ISBN A1 58488 658 7. Jones, Byron. Kenwood, Michael G. Design and Analysis of Crossover Trials. London, Chapman and Haller, Kim, Kevin and Tim, Neil. Restricted MGLM and Growth Curve Model. Univariate and Multivariate General Linear Models, Theory and Applications with SAS. Statistics. Textbooks and Monographs. Boca Raton, Florida, Chapman and Hall CRC. ISBN A1 58488 634 Exa, Cullo, Tar New and Von Rosen, Dietrich. Multivariate Linear Models, especially the Growth Curve Model and Extensions. Advanced Multivariate Statistics with Matrices. Mathematics and its Applications 579. Dordgt, Springer. ISBN A1 4020 3418 0 Anant M. Smith, William Boyce. Growth Curves. Statistics, Textbooks and Monographs 145. New York, Marcel Decker, Inc. ISBN A0 8247 2R. Pan, Jean Zin and Fang, Kai Tai. Growth Curve Models and Statistical Diagnostics. Springer Series in Statistics. New York, Springer Verlag. ISBN A0 387 95053 2R. Seber, GAF and Wild, CJ Growth Models. Nonlinear Regression. Wiley Series in Probability and Mathematical Statistics, Probability and Mathematical Statistics. New York. John Wiley and Sons, Incorporated PPA 325 Euro 367. ISBN A 0 471 61760 1. Tim, Neil H. The General Minova Model. Applied Multivariate Analysis. Springer Texts and Statistics. New York, Springer Verlag. ISBN A 0 387 95347 7. Vonish, Edward F. and Chinchilli, Vernon G. Linear and Nonlinear Models for the Analysis of Repeated Measurements. London, Chapman and Haller, Kona Way, M. Repeated Measures Design. Retrieved February 18, 2008, from HTTP, Biostat MC Vanderbilt EGPUB CLIN Stat Reap Mies. PDF, Menk, A. Conducting Repeated Measures Analyses, Experimental Design Considerations. Retrieved February 18, 2008, from Ariki.net, HTTP Ariki Natum RMHTM, Shaughnessy, JJ Research Methods in Psychology. New York, McGraw-Hill. External links, examples of all ANOVA and ANCOVA models with up to three treatment factors, including randomized block, split plot, repeated measures, and Latin squares, and their analysis in R.